Welcome to Kaiser Compressors Australia and New Zealand uh, YouTube channel. My name is Jeff Coyle and I'm the National Design and Engineering Manager for Kaiser Compressors Australia. In this uh, video we're going to go through some of the daily and weekly checks that you can do on a uh, industrial rotary screw compressor like this which is a ASK40T belt driven compressor um, and it's got an attached dryer. So initially for daily checks, um, you probably want to glance at the controller. Most compressors like this have some sort of smart controller on them. And the Kaiser in particular has a traffic light system on the controller here. So if there's no lights or a green light, that's obviously means that it's healthy. Um, if there's an amber or orange light, it means that there's a warning. So that could mean uh, like it's due for a service or it's getting a bit warm, something like that. And if there's a red light, that means there's an alarm, so something urgently needs attention. So visually, you can check these multicolor LEDs to see if there's something wrong. Also check the display. It'll flag up if it's due for a maintenance. You can also see the oil temperature and that sort of thing on there. Also, um, you want to be able to listen to the compressor as well. Um, when you, you know, as an owner, um, you'll get to learn how your compressor sounds when it's on load and offload. And if you s hear something unusual, um, obviously that might mean something that needs attention. So you'll probably want to listen to your compressor to how it's running um, and that sort of thing. That also can be an indication that something might need addressing. So part of the weekly checks you might want to do on your screw compressor is checking a few things inside the cabinet. Now, before you open the cabinet, it is advised to actually uh, mechanically and electrically isolate the machine. That's for safety reasons. Obviously, we have um, three-phase power going into the machine, as well as rotating equipment in the machine that can start without warning, and stored energy as far as compressed air inside. So mechanically isolated at the, the ball valve discharge on the compressor, as well as locking out the power on the incoming power supply. So the first item that you want to check on a weekly basis is the belt tension and belt condition. And the belt is located uh, behind this guard on this machine. Um, the belt connects the electric motor to the air end here. And you can check the belt tension on a Kaiser uh, by looking at this guide here. Um, we have a spring tension that tensions the belt. Um, and this little peg in this elongated hole here gives us an indication of how tight the belt is. So if this peg is towards the top of the elongated hole here, that means it needs adjustment. Um, and you can adjust it by changing these nuts here to move the peg down to the bottom like it is now. So that means that we have a proper tension on the belt. And if you wanted to visually check the belt, you can look down through this drill here and see the belt. Um, you don't want to see any fraying or bits coming off the, the belt at all um, before, um, you know, it can get changed. While you're inside the cabinet, you also want to check the oil level. And the oil for this compressor is, or well, most um, industrial screw compressors, is stored in the separator tank like here. Um, older separator tanks have a sight glass down the bottom here. and when the machine is off like this, you'd expect the oil level to be quite high on the sight glass because when the machine is running, um, there's obviously oil going through the machine, um, so that would drop down a bit. So there's two main way, ways to sort of check the oil. You can check it stationary like this, and it should be quite high on the indicator. This particular machine actually has a rotating dial that we can see here. It says high, the oil level high, which is fine. Um, when it's running, it would go into the green section. Um, which means it's fine also. Um, so yeah, you can obviously top the oil up by here um, into the separator directly, but it's very important to use the same oil that's in the compressor because that can be quite detrimental if you mix oils inside the compressor. So you want to consult your service provider first before adding uh, oil to the compressor. Also a part of the weekly checks, you should be checking um, the cooler filter mats if they're installed. Uh, for contamination. Um, most rotary screw compressors in Australia and New Zealand are air-cooled, so it's very important we have 
um, you know, clean, good quality air going through the machine to keep them cool. And one way of ensuring that is by having a filter mat like this um, on the, the coolers, the oil cooler and the air cooler. So you can clean these out if they do get clogged up. Um, you can use lukewarm water with some household detergent or a vacuum cleaner or blow them out with air or even just replace them. So it's worth checking them and also checking the coolers themselves for dust and contamination. On larger machines, they may not have one of these filter mats. So it's important to inspect that and clean it out as necessary. There's also smaller filter mats over here. Um, in here for the electrical cabinet. Um, so you can see there, there's a little uh, filter mat to cool the air going into the electrical cubicle. Um, so you want to clean them out in the same manner or replace them on a regular basis. And the final thing that we recommend you to check is the condensate system. Now, this compressor has an attached refrigerator dryer here and the dryer removes moisture from the compressed air and that's an unfortunate byproduct of compressing air is moisture. So you want to make sure that all the drains that drain the moisture out of the air network are working properly. And this particular dryer and most dryers have an automatic condensate drain in them. And this one can be accessed by the little window down here. Um, there's a test button on top of the echo drain, we call them. Um, and this is one of the drains, the electronic drains that drains the moisture out of the air network. And they have this test button on top that you can hold down and you should hear a gushing sound coming out, and that means that it's working. Um, if you don't hear that gushing sound, or it has an alarm on the top, or a light saying that it needs servicing, it might need to be changed. Thanks for watching this short video, and again, if you're unsure of anything, or you want further assistance or advice on something, you can contact Kaiser New Zealand at kaiser.co.nz, or on 0800 447 820.